Hey guys, let's um, um, talk about the price, just a couple of words in the beginning before we'll look at the news. And basically, we I, I cleaned up a little bit more with my chart. So we basically are moving in the same descending wedge, descending triangle, uh, which we looked at before. And the support, support and resistance lines are playing out quite well. Basically, within the triangle, we have... Um, the bearish uh, formations, bear flags or bear pennants, and each of them are um, low, like weaker and weaker and weaker. And finally, we had this one, which is tend to uh, going like indicating to go to even a lower area, uh, probably something like 3,300, a little bit higher than that. And also this blue line, as you can see here, it is the uh, um, well relatively the level. Um, approximately the level of 200 days moving 200 weeks moving average so if it uh, will go lower because of this formation pair flag formation then probably we will go uh, to this um, line and maybe have a sum of the bounce of this line some uh, uh, bounce back uh, also we have like a week before this triangle uh, will be over and they will, will reach the apex probably we will have the break out of this triangle before upwards or downwards it's not clear if it will be the complete um, bull rally before that and we'll have this uh, sort of a wedge after that uh, descending wedge then technically it should be expected that it will go upwards from that but since we had actually the huge um, downtrend before and this was sort of not clear whether it was uh, forming after the uh, the rise or after the fall I would say it's very hard to say where which which way we'll go but anyway um, we also can look at the um, uh, Fibonacci retracement if we'll plot it drew, um, uh, make it from the low to the high and then you can see that all the levels uh, retracement levels um, were pretty much worked out with the price uh, it interact with pretty much e each of them here and and here and also here and and this was quite a lot and finally the uh, final last price action is was about uh, here this level uh, we have one more which is pretty much the previous low so if we will not bounce off this 3330 or something then it's very likely that we'll go lower and try to test this low because not so much of the uh, support before that we'll see guys but although uh, saying that i must uh, mention that i am still pretty much bullish because of the many reasons we, which we talked before in, um, in my videos so uh, we'll see i don't want to sell right now i don't want to go short uh, the the, the biggest thing which I can do is I will buy at the lower low to some uh, to my position to add to my position and average down okay let's look at the news right now and we have something interesting happening basically the main well not the main but one of the main things is that uh, Abra Mo mobile wallet now introduces Bitcoin investment option for stocks and ETFs and among the major stocks, there will be f Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, Netflix, and commodities, some commodities at least. So we can see that it's um, not exactly a tokenization of the asset. It's just still um, sort of way of trading the uh, asset when you have it. Like, I have a huge article here, very important uh, data, very detailed. Uh, basically, we don't have the, we, we just use the Bitcoin as, as collateral collateral and um, the if you have let's say the uh, account with uh, you, you add some some bitcoins or whatever fund there then what you have is that you will you, you buy with these funds uh, some stocks and um, regardless of the um, way you use the um, your account like whether you use Bitcoin or Monero or Zcash or or fiat you still will be able to get the profit in the uh, currency which or, or the way of, of like the asset which you use to buy those stocks so if you like have thousand uh, dollars you will get more dollars if, if like you buy, buy some stocks and it will rise and if it is in Bitcoin then you'll get, get rise in Bitcoin 
uh, it should be uh, mentioned also that it's not a custody so what they only do that they are translate they they sort of um, intermediary in intermediary uh, <laughs> um, uh, party between uh, customers and the seller of the stock which is like the the um, the huge company or the broker or exchange so basically it is not exactly what you would want to have for bigger liquidity but still it is like the major uh, plus of all of that is that we'll have uh, some kind of increased liquidity because of the new uh, money can flow to this area and also it is important to notice uh, that the, th this approach is sort of risky in the way that um, depending on the, the direct direction of where the um, asset will go up or down you may have the liquidation of some of the assets and since Abra doesn't um, have those assets so they have to somehow um, mitigate the risks so they basically uh, equilibrate the number of people on each side each of two sides of the trade which are on their basis uh, their um, database sorry and that is how they some more uh, other other ways as well but still they try to uh, eliminate the risks in in this in this way and yeah but th that's that's the main the main point um, despite this is not exactly what we want to have with uh, uh, tokenization it's still very nice development so if somebody would say that crypto is dead well you can see that it's actually not okay uh, another news a major Swiss stock exchange SIX or six uh, to launch new blockchain powered digital exchange the main feature of that is that this exchange uh, is roughly uh, 5.2 billion dollars in daily turnover and has a market capitalization of over 1.6 trillion dollars so if they will get their client base to the uh, this uh, digital trading uh, field then we may have again this important liquidity factor which was such uh, in such a need right now so um, yeah uh, many many customers may come and uh, Europe is still pretty much uh, like not not empty uh, area for crypto but there are a lot of the resources which can be used there um, another news is from Google and again our friend Forbes uh, provides a lot of the positive information about the crypto and sort of includes some basics in order to let people who don't who weren't in crypto to understand what is happening and what is the major points so what basically um, Google started to um, do some researches research in in Bitcoin related areas so they uh, developed a tool which would uh, let you to search within the blockchain for example they can uh, show the movement of funds across the entire ledger of transactions uh, culminating in a snapshot of funds in an actual users um, uh, wallet so basically it's it's a lot of the statistical data which can be tracked and ex um, extract from Bitcoin um, uh, blockchain or other blockchains so Google is aimed to uh, provide some strong um, tools to powerful tools to make this um, possible and uh, yeah there was some some visualization and speaking about the way of um, Forbes does this um, give us this information what they say is okay um, uh, they're examining with uh, this this tool with the so-called hard fork on an irrevocable split in a blockchain in a blockchain database that created a new cryptocurrency Bitcoin cash from Bitcoin in the summer of 2017 well if you are in crypto area for a while that you obviously obviously know what is hard fork you don't need to ex be explained what is that <coughs> and everybody know what is Bitcoin cash so again it indicates that they are trying to um, spread the information the data to the broader audience to make 
uh, like new people come to the field very very kind from their side and there is a um, very huge article as well uh, again from Forbes speaking about this um, uh, approach and what is why Google is there and what is what it what it is doing and it's important to say that they are a bit of um, behind of other other huge corporations like uh, Amazon and Microsoft they are not um, they, they didn't make too many progress in Bitcoin uh, well, I'm sorry Bitcoin the build, uh, blockchain um, development and like within this field uh, while the same Amazon Microsoft they made a lot of the patent patents uh, about it and and so on and so forth so but still Google is now making a step um, in the field so we'll see how it will happen with with the with their experience about the search uh, engine development probably they will they may um, have a huge huge impact on the in the field for the field and they have actually this um, Google uh, cloud Google com page where you can uh, read from their source what is that and how it is used and for what well basically for the regular user I don't see that we can like use it fi find it very important uh, or very useful but for uh, some uh, businesses some um, data analysts maybe maybe it is in interesting so uh, this data is open and is basically is working right now so you can you can already use it okay following with this news about the R3 startup you know that it was used uh, with a part like a partner with uh, potentially with Swift uh, to test their um, uh, gateway to, to, to test their system in order to process pr process payments and also with SBI holding Japanese holding um, but now they have as well the Wall Street Blockchain Alliance WCBA which joined blockchain consortium R3 to develop applications and solutions on their um, platform which is called Corda uh, again this platform is used for well tem uh, potentially will be used for Swift and probably in SBI holding um, so you see previously we had like altcoins are rising and like, some huge company appearing is appears because of the new cryptocurrency but now it smells like STO or it smells like they already had some money they already have some had some investments and they just appeared and they are working on that and there will be like just a company in this area without any like scammy um, process or something so you see how the um, this this space becomes more and more uh, mature and developed and um, like grown up I would say so not so bad but we'll see how which which like part which piece of the um, this field R3 uh, will finally take and speaking about R3 and XRP because they're working uh, closely together there's another news Ripple partner Japanese financial giant SBI launching new crypto exchange and the thing is that SBI holding already has a huge huge um, client base of more than 23 million people and now all of those people will be able to use um, crypto in their new platform of course not all of them will be but you know Japanese people they are very pro crypto so some portion of them will do and they will have um, those coins they, they those transactions so we have again some more liquidity which is not that bad news okay guys i hope it was useful hope it was interesting and um, maybe we'll see to, uh, each other again tomorrow in the next update thank you for watching safe trading goodbye